Hey folks, so a couple of months ago uh, I got myself a new watch which is the TicWatch Pro 5. I'm not going to do a review type video on it. What I do want to demo though is the navigational uh, features on it because it was one of the reasons why I bought this watch was so that it would help with navigation. So when I was looking at the watch there's not much information on whether you can navigate with it. Google Maps, Google Navigation, that's totally fine. Uh, that works really well and it works as you'd expect. You know, you put your details in your phone and it transfers it to your watch. Uh, it'll do your turn by turn navigation or the kind of street view map. But I wanted something a bit more, a bit more finesse, you know, uh, a bit more outdoorsy, a bit more wildernessy. I downloaded the OS um, app for this watch and that doesn't work at all. So if you've got OS and you think you're going to be able to put your map route from your phone to your watch, no chance. Uh, the OS is a pile of poo, but I think that's because it's um, it's kind of British British only. But I found an app called Outdoor Active. If I load that up on my phone, I'll just walk you through how it works. Uh, I'm meeting a mate uh, down by a lake in this forest, and I don't quite know how to get there. I know vaguely, and I probably could find him, but I, it, I thought it's an ideal chance to just demo how this works. So I'm currently here. Uh, Outdoor Active lists footpaths and things. Uh, this place here is called Skull Lake and uh, that's where I'm meeting John and obviously you know you can use your phone totally for this but quite often when I'm doing hiking stuff my phone will be in my bag charging so it's nice to have the ability to have your phone put away put in where you want to go and it'll just immediately bump it over to your watch so let's put a route in okay so start plan here create a route. So you can just tap on where you're going and automatically it'll just figure it out. But if you just tap, uh, it'll follow the footpaths where you want to go. I said to John, I'll meet him at the mouth of Skull Lake. So that's that put in. Save plan. Title. Let's call it Skull Lake. Save plan. So your plan has been saved. So that is all you need to do. Shut the app. Job done. Now we open up the watch. Uh, where is it? Outdoor Active. Fire up Outdoor Active on here. My Roots. And there it is, Skull Lake. So the route pops up. Download, navigate. So let's navigate to it. So you can download it so it's completely off your phone and onto the watch. Right, so it's that way. 16 minutes to get there. And if we just pop to the side, you then get the full map experience on the watch. So you, instead of this, you know, you can have the turn by turn, which can be problematic following that, or just the radar style map, and you just follow that. And then if you do stray slightly off the path, it's not such a big deal because your route is there and you know very easy to follow so that's it let's get on with this and see if we can find Jono right so we're on our way I know it's not far it's not a it's not a major hike um, but I'm just trying to demo that it couldn't be simpler you know plot your route you know at any point save it give it a name and it just appears on your watch and um, yeah, that is very cool. And you do get a bit of detail. Uh, some watches, you know, you don't quite get the detail, but I think it's all in the app. You know, Google Maps, I say works, looks exactly the same as it does on your phone, works in the same manner. Um, but obviously you don't get much in the way of footpath detail and stuff. 
an outdoor active you can plot a route that's not got any footpaths and then just follow that so yeah works really well I mean I say that I've got to get there first but <laughs> I've used it a few times and it does work really well so blue line shows what we've done red line is what we still got to do and obviously this wheel on the side just zooms you in or out You know, and if, and if I left this route for some reason, you know, you, because you've got the red line there on, and the proper map, then it'd be quite easy to find a way back to it. And I must stress, you know, I'm only using the free version of Outdoor Active. Uh, there is a premium version, which will probably do a little bit more. But so far, from what I've used it for, you don't need the premium one. The premium one, I, I looked into it and there wasn't anything there that was, you know, really, really necessary. A tiny bit more detail maybe, that sort of thing. A little bit of topography. But if you're hiking and you're planning a route, then you're gonna do your homework before you go. And if you just got your route all programmed, then your phone can be in your bag, out the way. You haven't got to keep getting it out. And, and let's be honest, you know, on a hike and all that sort of thing, a phone battery, it's quite important because it's your communication device. So, being able to have your mapping stuff on your watch is um, is a bonus because my phone is shut down, the app isn't even open. As far as smartwatches go, you know, the uh, the TicWatch Pro 5. Uh, by the way, I bought this watch with my own money. Uh, there's no sponsorship, there's no affiliation. But uh, yeah, the reason I picked this watch was the battery life lasts longer than most and the ability to navigate. Those are my primary, you know, most important reasons. Uh, there are other watches that look pretty and do all the same things, but, you know, battery life is, if you're lucky, 24 hours. Uh, the battery on this, I've had it last, when I've been using it quite consistently, it's lasted a couple of days. Uh, I've been on camping trips with it for three days, and I think I charged it on the second night but it was on 20 percent so you know in terms of it's when you're using the gps and all that sort of thing uh, the battery's pretty good uh, there are other watches i think the amaze fit one I, I toyed with that because you get a 14 day battery life on that but the mapping on it there's no detail at all it's got a breadcrumb trail map you can follow back so you can get back to where you started as long as you go the same route but there's no detail it's just a black screen with a red line and um, that's not really good enough for me but yeah I've been I've been really happy with this uh, tick watch since I've had it and um, having the ability for GPS navigation when you know phone signal isn't the best is uh, is a good thing so there should be a small footpath on our left there it is so map detail doing well and if you prefer the the turn by turn navigation rather than following the breadcrumbs it does buzz your wrist when you get to a point where you're supposed to turn and things or if you leave the trail a bit it'll buzz you um, but uh, yeah i've tried that a few times and i'm not a massive fan of it i do prefer just seeing the map seeing where i am seeing the trail that i've got to go seeing the you know what's around me water on my right path on my left that sort of thing that's how i prefer it I'm deliberately taking oh, 35 feet and turn left. So I've deliberately taken the wrong path. You can see we're just just heading down the wrong path. So in order to get back on that path we want, I'm going to go down here and turn right and then turn left. And that should join us back on with the route. Right. We'll see how it copes with me making a wrong turn. So somewhere down here should be a right hand turn and I genuinely I've been here loads of times this forest but it's massive and I genuinely I don't know where I am right this second uh, there's a right turn here is this it 
So it's telling me that I've gone 195 feet the wrong way and I should turn around and go back, but we'll see. So that tells me, yes, I've taken the wrong path. So if I take this right hand turn here, that should put me back on track in a minute. Let's see where this goes. All right, it's coming to the end of the footpath. There's a junction here. Let's see if this is right. Yeah, so that's joined me back on with the footpath after a little detour. So make a left. Continue straight, yes. So I've got a little ting to say you're back on the route. And this should be the side of Skull Lake then. There should be water on my right, according to the map. Is there? Somewhere up there? Oh yeah. So yeah, as a navigational tool, very helpful. And if you make a wrong turn, it does buzz you and say, oi, <laughs> turn round. But you know, you got the freedom to make a different decision and uh, you know, right your own wrong and get yourself back on the trail where you think you should be. And you get a little ting to say, okay, you're back on the path. Well done, you. Now all I've got to do is find my friend. So we're just coming around the corner. The mouth of Skull Lake is just around the corner. Hello. And that is my friend's dog. What's your mate? Found me. You alright? Yeah. You? Yeah, yeah, good. Good. Hello, Obi. You've been swimming. Magic. So that's it. That is uh, navigating on the TickWatch Pro 5. And uh, yeah, the software, Outdoor Active, works well. It's free, there's no monthly charges. So, job done. Should we pick mushrooms? Or well, you could use an Apple Watch and a sense of direction. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching. See you later. Watching.